Hey, what's going on guys? Jack's the Bearded Hiker here. So you want to pimp your Weber kettle, do you? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it today. First of all, let me give you, I'm going to show you the parts that I have. I'm also going to leave a link in the description on where I got all the parts. So if you want to, you know, purchase some of these, if you don't have them at your local hardware store, which I did not, uh, you'll be able to go click on the links below and get it. So the first thing you're going to need is a lawnmower or lawnmower wheels. You're going to need two of them. You're going to need some spacers, okay? And I'll tell you about those in a minute. You're going to need two nylon washers, and you're going to need some push caps. Um, you can try to save the ones off your Weber kettle. I'm going to try to do that, maybe, but I really like these red ones, so I'm probably going to replace them with this. And you're also going to need some tape. This happens to be a foil tape. Uh, mylar tape. I got this at actually Lowe's. All right, so let's talk about these wheels for a second here. So most lawnmower wheels have a half inch bearing bore. The kettle has a three eighths uh, bore. So that's why you're going to need these spacers and you're going to need the uh, three eighths at a half inch when basically those will be going in like that. All right, but you can see it's a little loose and when you turn it, it's not spinning the bearings on this. So what we're going to be using is some of this mylar tape just to go around this about one time just to get it to where it'll snug up and actually spin the bearings there and i'm not using like duct tape or electrical tape or anything like that because it compresses really good this stuff tends not to uh, compress so that's why we're using it okay and also for the in order for these wheels to spin freely on the weber kettle you got to make up uh, because these are a little bit longer so we are going to have to cut these down but basically we'll be putting these on that axle then the wheel will go on and then anyway i'll show you how to do it all right let's get busy all right guys i figured the easiest way to remove these legs is to have a regular flathead screwdriver and also one of these paint opener dealios and what I do is I lay this across here for leverage and I get in behind here just like this all right now I'm behind there <clears throat> and just stick this behind it and give it a little bit of leverage and you can see it's popping it and I just go around the entire thing here now if the black cap comes off instead while you're doing this then that's fine <clears throat> see just like that happened you see you got that that's fine we're just going to go ahead and keep doing the same thing and you'll be able to reuse these more leverage and just make sure you go completely around it don't just focus on one area else you'll bend it you might even try it the other way like this and pull that way see see how it moved just then key to this is being very patient you don't want to mess these up else you'll have to buy some new dang push nuts Woo, almost close look at there boom all right save it so remember that this bearing bore is only an inch and a half so we only need about an inch and a half of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here like that, level it up, and then I'm going to make me a mark along here, okay? And then I'm going to make sure I cut, make, mark this in right here because I ain't going to want that. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to cut to the inside of the line of my mark. So this is all for my bearded brethren out there. Make sure you guys tuck that beard away because we don't want no bush fires or beard fires. Make sure when you're cutting this, stay to your inside of your line now. Now we'll just take our bastard file here. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. You might need to uh, get a little bit of the inside or go with a little sandpaper around it okay guys let's see if this fits here oh my goodness gracious perfect 
Damn, I'm good. All right, so I'm just gonna measure this out, make me a mark here. Call it about right, right there. It ain't gotta be perfect. All right, pretty good width there. We're just, like I said, we're just gonna go around this about right there. So this will be excess here. All right, just gonna put the tape on here. I think that should be enough for our shim. Let's see. Still a little loose, so I'm gonna just take another little piece. And go right back on there. Well, I'm thinking that's pretty snug right there, so I'll just have to push that in a little bit, but that's what we want, really snug fit. That way when you turn this, now yeah, let's see. <clears throat> Let me show you from the opposite direction. All right, let's see if you can see that. Do you see how the bearings are spinning? That's what you want. Just like that. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take the old wheel off. Put in these nylon spacers on there. Go ahead and uh, stick our wheel on. Make sure it's nice and snug. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put the caps on. Now we're gonna move out to the yard so I can show you how we're gonna put these caps on. <clears throat> All right guys, so I found this is the best way to install these caps. It just makes it easier. Go ahead and put on your washers. Stick on your washers. And remember, we had the two separate pieces that these go together. Set, make sure they're separated. Put on our wheel. Okay guys, so the plan here is to take this metal piece and put it on first. We're gonna use that like using a bolt. We're just gonna kind of straddle it like that. Kind of, so we got something to hold on to. We're not bashing our fingers. Okay, we're gonna line that up. And then we're gonna give it just a good whack and make, until that's on. All right, uh, hopefully you guys can see that, but we are on, right? That metal piece is on. So now we just take our cap and knock it on. We'll just do it the same way. And we're on, boom. You just pimped your Weber kettle. Now let's make sure this bad boy rolls. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Isn't she a beauty? All right guys, so I hope at least one of you out there got some use for this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. So pimp your Weber kettle. Do it.